Hello, hello, it's Katiana de Campos. I'm here to just speak to you a little bit about the twin flame. So if you are a twin flame and you're having a spiritual connect, connection with someone and you've been trying to cut it off for a long time, but this connect, connection helps you to, to grow spiritually and to finally get into your life path, it feels that uh, your twin flame is coming back to you, okay? So the first card I had when I asked about um, the energy that is coming and if love is coming towards the twin flame, this is the first card that came out which speak about, well, first this card has two kids, okay? They look like twins. Uh, the sun, you can, you can think about fire. So that's a little bit my card of twin flame. And when I have many like that in one reading, I know it's about it. And it speaks also about a fated love, something that was destined and, um, you see, it's like God is looking at their, at his child, right? I say he is, but I don't know if God is a man. <laughs> I mean, the energy, okay? The universe is looking at their child. So this is already starting very beautifully, okay? As you can see. So the current situation here is um, the... Page of Cup and the Knight of Wands. And that tell me that one of you may have been very finding back their energy, finding back this passion within them slowly, you know, and now you're feeling like more like alive. You maybe were waiting for uh, an opportunity, an offer, okay, an offer of love. And I don't know, you may be just passionate, you're just waiting for, for this offer of love coming towards you, okay? For the others, it could be just that you want to offer your, uh, your cup of love to someone and you're very, very passionate about them. Here, it could be uh, very much possible that uh, one of you is a Cancer Pisces Scorpio and the other one, Sagittarius Aries Leo. Okay, it's possible because I just see this right here, okay? So, maybe the one who is waiting for an offer of love right now and is starting to find back um, the flame, all right, inside of them, is maybe sometimes thinking that something is not happening. Maybe both of you, actually, since you're mirroring. Sometimes you may feel that, yeah, okay, I have a cup, but is it enough? Is it gonna be okay? All right, but you have a lot of passion, okay? A lot of passion here. Uh, one second. Where is it? Okay. <laughs> so, oh, 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 is it the right one? One second. Oh yeah, that's that's the one. Sorry, I did my reading before, and I am in my bed to tell you the truth. And my cards, I had to go get the light and my cards are all over the place. So give me one second, please. Okay, here we are. Yeah, so the person you're dealing with is um, someone who probably uh, had a family, okay? Or uh, were in a community who were like in a relationship and had to go through maybe a divorce, 
aspiration, okay? They may have had some injustice also, okay? Maybe something unfair happened to them. They are someone who is very stable, wanting a family, very loyal, okay? But I think they have been pushed out of this relationship. Um, today, I think that this person is, is really looking at life a different way, with a lot of way more maturity, but also a lot of with more passion, like things can only get better now. Okay, at one point, I think they've been missing you. They've been missing you. They've been missing you and they've been regretting the past a lot. Okay, with the five of cup here. All right. But um, I feel like they will come towards you because they want a new beginning. Look. 11, 11, and again, 11, okay? <laughs> so that's my second Twin Flame card. Actually, that's three now because I consider that one Twin Flame too sometimes. And um, they want to celebrate a new life with you, okay? Divine Feminine or Energy Feminine. Uh, I feel like that's really what they want. They see you at their match. The match. Two people who really want something stable, stuff, something that's going to be long term, who want to find peace, who are ready to work to get what they want. Okay. They may look at you as a, as really a, as a trophy at one point, okay? I ask if they were out of their relationship and I had all those. <laughs> so yes, they out of the relationship because they have been left out in the cold after a big deception, okay? Something extremely toxic, what we don't care it's over, it's just what it is. And your person is feeling extremely powerful now, more balanced with their own emotions. Um, I think they getting back their power. That's what I feel about this card, okay? And again, they could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, all right? And they were maybe dealing with um, Libra, or I would say a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Okay. Yeah. Now, uh, if you are the divine masculine, energy masculine listening to me, I can tell you that your person is um, they've been wanting your, their justice. Okay. They've been wanting to find back fairness in their life. Okay and they've been working hard to find it back, to find back this value, find back those boundaries, okay? They've been a lot of work, and all they want, I feel, it's really to be happy and have a family, okay? And that's what they've been working on, to get their dreams come true of a relationship that is true and can fulfill them, right? They have, a lot of inspiration, they are very creative. They probably are uh, doing a cr new creative work with the Ace of Wands here, okay? Something they really like to do. And they get inspiration from spirit to do so. Yeah, that's what I feel about it. One second, guys. Ah. <laughs> All right. Um, they want a new beginning, okay? They want, a, they want a new beginning, they want also a relationship, but they want a relationship that is very spiritual. They've been 
also wishing for for a celebration with their twin flames with you divine masculine okay maybe not lately because i feel like they were more moving on at one point but they did wish for you at the beginning okay and then i think they went with the flow of the universe and they let things happen i believe so but they've been missing you a lot okay maybe they don't look like it Maybe they don't look like it, but they've been missing you a lot, Divine Masculine. They did. You know what? I'm going to confirm that anyway. I ask what they feel about you. What the Divine Feminine is thinking about you. So they feel, Divine Masculine, that you have a lot of conflicts. You have a lot in your head. It's a lot of, of drama around you. And they feel like you may bring it to them. However, they know that there is a connection that is, and you know, undeniable. Um, but they feel like they have to stay committed to themselves and keep on studying and moving moving forward, even if in the back of their head, they still like wandering, you know, but I feel like they're moving on beautifully and they feel that you are the partner, you're supposed to work together. I feel they wish that things could go faster, but somehow with the commitment they have and the way they stu study he feels that they're realizing why it it had to be so long because the way they are today is not how they were even one month or two months ago even if they were already fine okay so this this is Yeah. And they have been balancing their emotions a lot, okay? I feel like they're way more balanced than they used to be. I think both of you mirroring in the fact that both of you are extremely emotional. Extremely emotional. And you probably both of you don't show it so much, okay? Maybe you guys, when you see each other, you don't show it so much, and then you maybe you will end up crying, but... You know, at first you, you have some kind of little, you're trying to, to be strong in front of each other or whatever. Or when you think about, you know, in your life of every day, you don't show nobody that, you know, you're not feeling okay. And I believe that both of you have been trying to move on very hard from this connection. You like, you've been like trying to move on, find maybe other people to see if there was better, if you could just forget, maybe do some cut cords and all that. And meditation, you know, cut cords and all that, trying to do all kinds of stuff and it didn't work. And I think today when a lot of readings say, um, the truth is out with the a lot of Ace of Swords came out, okay? It didn't come out here yet, but the Ace of Swords came out a lot in other readings, and that speak about the truth. The truth can come from someone, but this is the truth of the divine. And I believe some of you, Twin Flames, you, your truth is that you realize that you can't, there is no way for you to disconnect from this connection. And you made peace with it. You were like, well, Okay, I did everything I could try to do to get out of this. And, you know, I met other people, I did meditation, I tried to go out, I tried to face my, <laughs> you know, I tried to face it, I tried to cut the bond, and I'm still here, and I'm still in love, and 
and it doesn't make sense. And maybe like, you know, some of you, you were with this person for like a few months, three, six months, okay? And it doesn't just make sense. And it's here, it's like that. And you're realizing there is nothing to do because it really is fated. It really is spiritual. It really is a twin flame spiritual connection. So, what you don't know, um, what you don't know, guys, is that. So I'm gonna I, I'm gonna start by divine uh, feminine. What you don't know, divine feminine, is that your twin flame has been um, has been through a lot, a lot, a lot of things. They have changed extremely a lot, okay? And they have been through many fights, a fight of responsibilities concerning maybe a family. It could be family as a relationship, but also family member, community. All the things that when in, they were, you know, I feel like for some of this, this, twin flames, what happened is like during their childhood, you know, when things were, were, weren't good in the family, they were the one like, you know, picking the piece and putting them together, showing a good face. And since then they have put this mask on, this responsibility on, this burden on, and they are the one who are always fixing everything. Okay. And also some of them, it's because of families. They had kids, they have, they still have kids. Sorry, my bad. Okay. They have kids. Uh, also there were things that went on. Okay. A lot of karmic situation came out. And also maybe for some of them, they went through some loss. Okay. Big loss. And that made them change. They also, uh, I feel, uh, did fight against their ego, addictions, okay? And they found back a balance, okay? They find back a balance, and now they can release themselves from those situations and people, take their di distance and start to release all that so they can find peace, okay? Be in balance and go toward their love. You see the infinite, the eight, Okay, and have this huge change in their life. Now they're ready, okay? So that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Now, if it's uh, divine masculine, if it's the divine feminine, I believe she's been doing the same, okay? So for her, it's probably... Um, it's a little bit like you because you 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 cleaned up some karma, but she cleaned up a lot of karma too. Okay, a lot of karma, um, generational karma, just like you. Okay, but um, yeah, she had to go also to childhood issue, to understand about boundaries, to find back this value this self-value, sorry, this uh, all self-love, anything that is including self-love, okay? And she's going through a lot of uh, change to transformation, just like you, Divine Masculine. Wait, once again. Divine Masculine, it's possible that you've been afraid about this connection connection at the beginning. But I feel like you're okay to release that and to enter your life path, which is great. And yeah, Divine Feminine, I feel like 
you releasing also you finally understanding that this connection is just not and un it's unbreakable but you accepting the change you accepting you have a lot of strength you finding peace too same both of you mirroring okay i'm not even gonna try to go too hard on this because you're doing the same thing all right now Spirit advice. Spirit advice is that you guys, okay, you um, should speak. Okay, where is the other card? All right, you should speak. You should have a, yeah a conversation. All right, and you should just take the risk, okay, because it's gonna be you're gonna be grateful for this connection. This connection again, like the full say it's spiritual you just need to to jump the cliff to take that leap of faith okay you're going to be very grateful to do so i feel like this connection is going to be very emotional okay very emotional but this conversation conversation you're gonna have sorry my bad um is uh going to bring success you have victory here and success okay uh, in this spread, a lot of uh, fire sign, air sign, and uh, water sign, okay? Now, uh, what I see about uh, the outcome, what can be the result of this, okay? You already know. You guys are going to move on together. You're gonna move on in your head, in your feelings, which you have been working on all, all year, okay? To move on from all the past and your, your feelings from the past. And you're gonna move on together. Some of you are gonna travel. I believe a lot of Twin Flame are gonna travel or move toward their Twin Flames, okay? It could be, um, it could be uh, traveling overseas across the water uh, doing um, moving together in another country for others it could be uh, just moving together okay relocating I'm gonna finish that and I'm gonna watch the chat re real quick but um, I feel like for some of you that's why I say twin flame alert for some of you uh, the release is mostly the denial trying to st still fight I can I can forget about him. I'm still I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna make it, you know. Or I can forget about her. Now you like okay, you know what? It's too much. I'm having too many synchronicities, signs. Wherever I go, I hear his name, her name. I I see something that remind me. It look. It's just your justice. You have to accept it. And you know what, that's a 10 and a 10. Look at this, look at you. <laughs> Nine completion, right, is it? No, that's 11, sorry, 11. Oh, guys, seriously, seriously. So I'm gonna ask, so both of you, you know that um, you have people that are going to try to block you. You know that, I believe so. But uh, where are you at now? Where are you at now? Um, you don't care because you stay authentic to yourself and you know, sorry. <laughs> And you know, um, and you know what you want in life now. You know what's good for yourself. You know this connection is just. There is nothing to do. You have to do it, okay. And it's gonna be beautiful. You know, it's gonna bring all your bling, everything you dreamed of. So someone say, can I get? A love reading for my sexy goth bad boy wow 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 
you can have a reading yeah um you can go on my website and purchase your reading with no problem tonight i'm not taking any free personal questions so if you guys here for that i'm sorry um i believe that also you guys may have had uh since end of november or during november a lot of connection telepathic connection uh, you probably have felt uh, one another, even, yeah, even during intimacy or stuff like that, because I saw that. I saw that while having maybe intercourse, okay? One may, you may have both feel each other, okay? That's a hard thing to feel. Uh, you may have seen a lot of synchronicities. Um, 3 3 3 4 4 4 11 11. Okay. Um, a lot of 3 3 3, uh, 3 3 3. Sorry, I'm French. I'm very bad with my accent, but I hope you understand. And, um, and a lot of signs. A lot, a lot of signs. Okay. Maybe songs maybe anything let me ask what um what else the the divine masculine needs to know about uh his actions towards the divine feminine okay so the energy is wish fulfillment your wish is being granted so don't be scared you can take action okay you are protected you've been healing okay the work has been done i feel let me see let me check oh okay okay so pretty much <laughs> pretty much what well, I, I just put back the cards but they almost all came back again so uh yeah you're getting the fruit of your manifestation, whatever you've been praying and wishing for is finally here. Your divine feminine is finally ready. You're gonna be able to, okay, to, to recall the fruit of your manifestation. She's ready, she's stable, okay? And yeah, you're gonna have this celebration. Whatever you have planned, Okay, because I feel like you have planned something. You worked on something all this time. Because I feel like you knew about your, your divine feminine. You may have had some back and forth, but I believe you worked on some kind, somehow on the situation. You had also um, advice from someone. For some of you, it could be a priest, a high priestess, okay, a preacher, uh, someone spiritual, I think, or you got a reading, okay, divine masculine, I feel, or maybe it's someone from your family, a grandmother that does maybe tarot cards or can do divination. You asked advice to someone you really, really, really trusted, okay? Someone you knew wouldn't manipulate the, the anything, okay? So you're ready now, you're ready for that. You're ready to have that new world with this person, okay? And move on. Like I say, you guys are moving. You guys are moving to live, live your life, to be together. If, we, if you're not moving, it's maybe just a travel, but a good travel, a nice traveling, okay? But I feel like some of you, you will be moving together when, uh, <laughs> when it could happen fast though. <laughs> Let me see. When? Okay, yeah, it could happen fast because maybe some of you is the help that you are needing. Maybe some of you, you have lost uh, money, home, something, and this person is coming back to bring back victory, to, uh, to, to have a celebration with you. They, they, they're going to... You're gonna help them or they're gonna help you. Wait. No, you're gonna, divine masculine, you're gonna help your divine feminine, I believe. 
Okay. Because you want you want victory. That's three three cards of the victory. Let me see. Okay, thank you. I just wanted to make sure because I don't like to see that three of cup. Everybody's traumatized by the three of cup, okay? Because that's the girl, you know, and usually we say it's third party. But no, I ask Divine Masculine, are you sure you, you're not in a relationship? And he, he say, I'm not, okay? It's over, okay? Um, now, Divine Feminine. What uh, spirit want to tell you about your actions right now? Oh, you've been confused these days, huh? <laughs> you've been confused these days? Serious? I feel you. You've been confused, but I feel that's a, uh, that's a feeling that you both have because I feel like Divine Feminine, you've been confused about your feelings. You're like, I'm never going to be able to cut this. What am I supposed to do? But at the same time, you feel lighter because with all these in healing energies and all that, you feel a little better. November is gone. But um, the worst is, is behind you, but yeah, you still have that thing. You love them. And for um, the Divine Masculine, I believe you've been confused. It's like both of you have the same feelings. Like the other one is still happy without you and it's probably in your head, stuff like that. And then you you come back to, to, to your, to reality. You know this connection, connection is real. You can see it all the time. Yeah. So yeah, Divine Feminine, uh, what Spirit want to tell you about your actions is that you about to have that victory you wanted. You're going to be able to be at peace. It's going to change your life, okay? Right now, you've been probably uh, very tired, resting, meditating a lot, but resting. I feel like... Um, With the wheel of fortune, this is your wheel of fortune. You're getting the who is who is showing off his head here? Is that cancer? Cancer, <laughs> the card of success, okay, in balance, being in balance, success. But the wheel of fortune, and I believe like it's about it's about that divine timing when they call it. You will, you will start to have this connection. Right now, don't manifest the soulmate too hard because they have heard you. It's already, it was already written, okay? It was already in your Akashic record for the both of you. You, you knew each other. You always knew every life. You've been meeting each other. So it's more about the divine timing. So you may have been blocked. Look at this. You may have been blocked. So maybe someone is trying to reach you, but let's say your mail are not working right. It feels like a retrograde. If anybody has this kind of feelings, please let me know. Look at my phone. I did an update, first time in my life. I did an update and look, it wouldn't, it wouldn't, it wouldn't go back, turn on. I have to go to the store tomorrow. You know what I mean? I'm blocked. Nobody can just call me. So maybe you have this kind of issues or your emails, maybe your computer or something's going to prevent you to go out and even work. You may be pushed to move towards your business, spiritual business your light worker business, whatever you like to do, your life path. And spirit may have been keeping you from work, though. 
because you need that rest because this year was too emotional, too difficult, too heavy, too tiring and exhausting emotionally and physically, okay? Yeah, that's what it is. Your work was phenomenal. You cut off so many things. You had faith. You cut off a bunch of shit around you. People, situation. You started to work on you within and outside for your business. You understanding things, trying to cut off whatever you couldn't cut off anyway. <laughs> but you understood so much, okay? And you had faith. This is beautiful. You had faith. You made this choice to have faith and you were like, okay, I'm just going to have faith on myself and I'm going to keep on working and, and to show my boundaries and show that I can do it. I'm going to prove it to myself. I believe so. I believe it, right? You've been extremely um, focused and di direct to me. I feel like you were straight with that and you love what you do, which is beautiful. So I hope uh, if he resonates with you, uh, let me know. Well, you know what? Maybe I take a few questions, who knows? Let me finish this with him, okay? Let me finish this. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna ask another question. So I'm not even gonna ask when the soulmate is coming, when you're going to be together, because we all know it's going to happen this month, uh, between now until, like, I believe, March, February, March, yeah, February, yeah, because March will be the retrograde, so February, yeah. But I believe a lot of you, it will be this month, okay, it will be in December. Welcome to everybody. If you're coming back, welcome back. <laughs> Hello, Mermaid Princess. So let me see. Um, now, what are the obstacles for the Divine Masculine? What is the obstacle for the Divine Masculine? Divine Masculine, I think the obstacle here, okay, your main energy a little bit right now could be that you feel um, lonely, you feel like you have lost too much, you feel like you may take, you may get rejected, okay, by your Divine Feminine, you feel like maybe you don't have enough, and the obstacle here is you staying in this negative thinking and just stop on fighting for the connection. Because that's people stopping on fighting. They're tired. You are tired. That's the problem. That's very much your problem, uh, Divine Masculine. You are exhausted. So rest, okay? Rest. Divine Feminine was the obstacle. I'm sorry, I, I'm not going to be able actually to do the free question. I'm so sorry. I was alone for a while, but it's late. I can, they came back already. Divine Feminine. What is your obstacle here? Oh, baby. Your broken heart, divine feminine. You have to heal this. You have to move on from these feelings. Like I said, what you don't know, I told you, you can go back on the video. What you don't know is that your twin flame has changed. is now ready to become a divine soulmate. And so are you. 
it's time to really um, finish this work. Okay, you took off the you took off the swords from the, your your heart. It's beautiful. You are at the end of that. Okay, it's beautiful, but you still have these band aids, and it's still bleeding a little bit. So it's time to clear up all this. Okay, it could be also you that. Mm. For some of you, it's a little bit of pain, okay? But I feel like this pain is more something that you keep on rethinking and rethinking and rethinking. So somehow, you don't relieve it like you used to because you healed, okay, mostly, but you still feel it a little bit and it still puts you back in that and you're like, I should cut this cord because that's the things I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to set boundaries. I'm supposed to go away and not accept this. And actually, um, actually, no, you're in denial of this connection. It's just time to heal the, this past, I think. Can you confirm that spirit? Oh, okay. Confirmed. <laughs> yeah, it's time to put an end to that and bury it so you can become the empress and be the wifey, the spouse. Okay? You need to bury this. It's time. Rest in peace. Bad feelings. I am now becoming the empress. This is my crown. This is my kingdom. My queendom. <laughs> So, okay, you're working on that. I think you're getting free soon with the energy of the 12-12. 12-12-12, you healing very soon. You're finding back confidence, freedom. You're feeling that, that in, in, in the hair, okay? It's a new world. If you haven't feeling that, if you haven't buried, buried that yet, um, this pain and this, you know, this overthinking about the past, about the pain you had and what is supposed to be. Um, I think you're moving on from that. Okay, you're going to have this fresh, brand new energy. Wow, right behind. Fresh, brand new energy that's going to help you to transform to something more, even girl. Feminine energy, you look amazing, okay? Just so you know, you look stupid amazing. Now, uh, energy masculine, now you're gonna be able to get out of what I saw earlier. This, hmm. what do you need to, hmm. what do you need to do to get better? What does the divine masculine need to do to get better? Wow. <laughs> okay, so spirit has something to say, huh? Divine masculine, as you can see, your divine feminine is already um, about to be crowned empress, okay, in about five minutes, okay? I mean, very soon. So, you are a little bit behind, but it's okay. Take your time. There is no rush, no competition. That's probably why there is uh, the divine timing that I saw earlier. And that's probably why you are not allowed to contact her. You're not allowed to contact your divine feminine yet because you are not completely done with what we saw earlier, your anxiety, your I'm feeling not enough, or if I go, it's going to be maybe um, maybe you're scared because you, you're scared your divine feminine will have that feeling of revenge, maybe, because you did something wrong in the past. 
maybe you feel that you may enter again another relationship where you will be too attached and you're scared of that. You're scared that it will be just a deception again. You don't want to miss, you don't want to miss that one. I understand. Take your time. Take your time. But spirits say that you shouldn't stop fighting, okay, with this connection. They say that you're getting more stable, okay? But you still have to get rid of all this so you can become the emperor. And as you can see, okay, <laughs> it's just a match, right? Where is my empress even? You saw it earlier, right? I know you saw the empress earlier. I probably put it back already. But you will be a match, emperor, empress. After that, there is nothing else. This is a royalty. That's two mature people getting together, wanting to be in peace, knowing where they're going, being independent, having stability, having an experience of life that not everybody has. Okay? Wherever it's an experience with emotions, finance, you know, all this. So yeah, I believe you still have some little work, but um, you should do the meditation, both of you, the um, light code activation for the Merkaba, Merkaba meditation, or um, if you feel like it, I'm gonna do a meditation tomorrow. To So I'm going to work with the full moon, and then uh, in the meditation, we're gonna do an activation. Okay, that's some channeling. I will do it live, so I'm going with the flow, okay? So you you will see it tomorrow. But it can, sometimes it works, some people say it works very well with, with them, you know. So you can try, but uh, the 12 at 12.12 12 at noon and 12 minutes is going to be that portal opening. So please rise your vibration, like, you know, rise up, you know, vibe very high tomorrow, don't let nobody distract you, have this, because this is very uh, important for you, Twin Flames. This portal is about you too, okay? Not completely, but it's about love. Well, it, yes, it is about you, because you're gonna help to do, if you, Twin Flame can do that, this energy is going to help a lot of people in the collective. Seriously. Because you're going to bring back a lot of uh, love energy, which is going to bring an awakening of heart, of the heart chakra to the collective. That's the mission of the twin flame. When they get back together, or when they get back, when, you know, when they, they are in tune with who they are, they are more powerful. So that can help a lot. That can help a lot. That's what I got. For your new beginning and uh, your commitment, okay? So your commitment doing this meditation here um, for the portal 121212 12, is going to bring a lot of stability to the world, okay? And your life, your own life, of course, also. And an expansion uh, spiritually, uh, of course, DNA activation, chakras activation, the 12 ones, right? The one we don't know, we don't use. Uh, but also psychic abilities, okay? That's why the, the year of end was here. Expansion, awareness, okay? Cosmic consciousness, the cosmic heart. You're bringing back heart, love, okay? Heart awakening, the fourth chakra. You should do actually also a meditation for the fourth chakra, that could help too, yeah. And that's it, all right? Now I have I have to shut up. But um, I hope you enjoyed the Twin Flame reading, okay? I'm gonna ask if there is a last word.
Is there is something we need to know? One more thing, divine masculine and divine feminine needs to know. Yeah. Okay. Here I have, have strength, look for peace, okay? You guys are, are will be together soon, okay? Wherever, what, whatever is, are your difference, whatever was, where your, the problem in the past, everything's gonna be balanced. As you can see, I'm not even moving, but look, that's how we come on my, on my finger. I don't know if you see it. So I'm taking it, the lover, two of cup, reconciliation, we are meant to be. Could be fire sign and water sign again or gemini aquarius libra who knows whoa look that's the last word look i'm not even gonna i'm not that's the last word a world a brand new world the twin flame reconciliation have strength okay have strength Keep shining, keep shining, keep vibing. Do this the meditation if you can. Keep your vibration high. The healing is happening. Your rec reconciliation is happening. It's amazing. Congratulations, guys. Okay? And if you feel that you're tired, sleep. If you feel that, um, if you're losing your job, if you're losing something on the, on the way, that's the sacrifice but it's not ready. It's not really a sacrifice, it's a blessing in disguise because you're moving towards something else. If you have some problem with your electronics, like a little bit like, or your car, okay? Your car don't work, you can move. Uh, that's the universe trying to keep you home or to keep you away from people that could speak to you, to have you relaxed. As I'm looking at the time, it's 11.33 here. It's just changed just now. And we are 11, okay, that's amazing. 11, 11, 33, that's what I saw. That's amazing. Um, all right, that's it, guys. So I hope you enjoyed uh, the chat. Uh, I'm going to sleep and um, I see you tomorrow for the meditation, okay? Thank you, thank you. Bye-bye, love and light. I love you guys. Thank you, Mermaid Princess, King Gay, and Tito, and Mystic Nikki, okay? Yeah, you too? Oh, you did. Crazy, my computer's time is 11. Oh, here we go, amazing. That's super, super good. <laughs> All right, Mystic Nikki. See you soon, okay?